This voice registry podcast is brought to you by voicebank.net. This is part two of the voiceover doctor and student Margaret Lorenz. So you're talking to Haida. Yep. About what? Well, now I'm talking to her about there's a group of us at a ski cabin and we're, okay. we're going shopping for the, you know, for the groceries. Okay. And where are you when you're having this conversation? At Safeway up in Tahoe City. Uh, you know what? Why don't you go somewhere a little more comfortable? Oh, okay. okay. You can talk okay. about, you know, you're about to go to Safeway. Oh, okay. Got you know it. So I mean? we're like in the kitchen of the ski house. Hey, hey, quiet down because I'm Sorry. right next to you here. You, Sorry. you see me right next to you? Yes, yeah. I Okay, do. great. No need to yell at me. I'm very sensitive. <laughs> okay. All right. So you're just chit-chatting about, hey, we should probably go out and get these things. Is mm-hmm. that the idea? Yeah. Okay. Be very specific about the items you need. Okay. 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 Hyde is not stupid, right? No. Then then don't talk down to her. Don't don't okay. talk as if she doesn't understand. Right. You know, Haida, we've got to get this and this and this <laughs> because you're an idiot. No, she knows what you're talking about. Okay. Right? Okay, good. Try that now. All right. When do you need a flight? When don't you? 3,900 flights a day. 250 cities. Advantage miles. Admiral's Club locations worldwide. And upgrades. Fly an airline that fits you and your schedule. Not the other way around. And when you, and when you manage your ever, let's see, and when you manage your ever changing travel plans at AA.com, you can get flight status sent straight to your mobile phone, pager, PDA, or email. So next time you fly, get a little more airline. Get a lot more airline. American Airlines, AA.com. Okay, good. Now, you had a few stumbles there. Right. Exactly. No big deal, though, right? Right. Why is that? Because you can do it we again. Don't, we don't care about the words, <laughs> and we got nothing but digital here. We can, right. cut, we exactly. can cut and paste. So, so again, the fact that you, yeah. you made a little stumble, but you kept it going with the same attitude right. and everything, did that feel a little more relaxed? Yeah, it feel more relaxed, but I didn't have anything specific in mind here for new thought. Okay, great. You know? Let's, so maybe on, I'm on this take, let's yeah, figure that out. Specific. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Now, where, where were you talking to your friend, Haida? Um, in the kitchen. In the kitchen. Where yeah. in the kitchen? Um, near the refrigerator. Near the refrigerator. Right. <laughs> oh, We're looking through, looking, like, looking deciding what fridge. we need. Looking in the fridge. Okay. Yeah. All right, cool. Why don't you sit down and have a cup of coffee? Oh, okay. And relax us even oh, more. Oh, okay. All okay? right. Okay? Sure. And Because there's no reason for any energy. There's no clue in the script that says oh, okay. you need to be energetic okay. or anything, right? All right. Okay? Yeah. You're just kind of sharing information. Mm-hmm. Oh, you know what we should do? We should go out and get this today. Kind okay. Of thing. okay. Okay. Got it. So let's try one like that. Just okay. Back off of it. When do you need a flight? When don't you? Where Where is Haida? Uh, she's sitting next to me. Right next to you? Yeah. Immediately next to you? Yeah. Then don't project at all. Okay. No need to, right? All right. Yeah, right. Is she as close as I am to you right now? Not that close. Well, put her that close. Okay. See what it does. All right. See okay. how it changes your read. Okay. Go ahead. When do you need a flight? When don't you? 3,900 flights a day. 250 cities, advantage miles, Admiral Club locations worldwide, and upgrades. Fly an airline that fits you and your schedule, not the other way around. And when you manage your ever-changing travel plans at AA.com, you can get flight status sent straight to your mobile phone, pager, PDA, or email. So next time you fly, get a lot more airline. American Airlines, AA.com. How'd that feel? Much better. I yeah. like the whole intimate thing with yeah. the mic. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. See, mm-hmm. but see, it wasn't an intimate thing with the mic. No, it was with. My it was friend. an intimate thing yeah. in, your, in your head. Just you talking. just brought her closer to you, had a cup of coffee, you were relaxing, mm-hmm. and it was that specific picture in your head that improved your read mm-hmm. because it had nothing to do with the words, did it? No, not at all. Because you weren't thinking of these words at all. Now, no. were you? And that's what makes it voiceover. Wow. That's what makes it. Wow. Hey, what a <laughs> no, great reaction. I've never. What a I've great never, reaction we got there. I, I, I've I'm never, like, that. not thought about the words before. Yeah. Like, you know, yeah. that's great. Well, it's acting. It's acting mm-hmm. 101. Mm-hmm. Okay. You have acting. You have advertising. Mm-hmm. When you put the two together, this is how nice it can be. Mm-hmm. Okay. Got it. Excellent. All right, man. I, I mean, I think that's pretty much it, Tracy. We, we got the read we, we were looking for. If if uh, if this were Margaret at an audition, I'd send her on her way. Well, this was great, and Margaret, I got a whole lot of questions for you. Okay, sure. Hey, so you've been doing voiceover work for several years now up in San Francisco, right? Right, mm-hmm. and you've taken a lot of classes. So how was this for you? First, off? it was good. It was uh, 
it was I really enjoyed the new um, to me it was a brand new way of looking at copy. Okay, you and, know? and what was new about it for you? I think it was the fact that you can just throw out um, even thinking about what the words mean because I always you know you think about I mean just so specifically creating some completely other object another object that you're thinking about instead of these words was. New. And what did you used to do? That, what did you do before this? What was your technique? Um, I would, well, I didn't really do it too well here, but I would, I would, you know, know that you're supposed to figure out who you're talking to. But I don't think I got so specific as you're sitting on the coffee, you know, you're sitting at the table, you know, there's a refrigerator, there's the, I didn't have the whole entire space um you know, in my mind, so can, in such detail before. I can see you now. Margaret and I took classes years ago, and I can see you now, Margaret, writing, now really writing a thesis. <laughs> I know. <laughs> now that you have all this <laughs> yeah, information. Yeah, exactly. I can't wait. <laughs> um, when you did it cold, because you read, you read it cold, mm -hmm. and then Bill helped you, Dr. Mm -hmm. Bill, mm -hmm. uh, how was that? Mm -hmm. How was the treatment? It was good. It was um, it was understandable, and I think it worked. <laughs> and, I felt really good. The last read felt really good. And what about? It was really interesting listening to you go from this one kind of a read to the sexy thing. How oh, was that? Oh, you know, I didn't even try to do the sexy thing. I think just getting closer to the mic and feeling like you're talking to the person right there bring it maybe break, made my voice a little lower and softer. Yeah, it was, so it appeared it was really more sexy. sexy. It, it, it was it was just more of a <laughs> relaxation. Kind of a thing. Mm. Yeah. You know? yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's amazing mm. how it just, how it uh, really made a difference and all you had to do was relax. Right. And relaxing <laughs> is a good thing. Well, That's especially true. on an airline when the plane's <laughs> about to go down. Oh, right. exactly. Yeah. And just relax, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> just relax. That's why they never, you know, you, the, the, you know, the captain's always like, well, folks, we're about to crash into the ocean now. You know, I mean, that guy probably took a class. <laughs> yeah. He took a voiceover class yeah, from you, yeah, maybe. Exactly. Yeah. Well, there's a whole new market for you. Um, how was Dr. Bill's bedside manner? Very good. I must say it was fantastic. He wasn't too abrupt and abrasive and mean. No. No. I was glad, <laughs> to he, told, I was glad he told me to, like, you know, don't be so loud. Because yes. <laughs> I do have that tendency. He's sensitive to that. And he's a sensitive doctor. <laughs> right. And and doctor. Yes. Tracy. Let's get a few um, just insights from you. How how was how was your session? How was your... Um, session with the patient uh it, oh, it was fine i i, I mean she it, it was relatively short which is a good thing she took she takes direction well uh -huh. and um as soon as she put those specific pictures in her head uh it all kind of came together and and the point that i really want your listeners to get is it really is that easy right it it can be that easy if you let it be that easy and if you if you just kind of let go and go, okay, the words are unimportant. Uh, you know, most people come to me and they're like, oh, no, Bill, those words are very important because everybody told me in my other classes that they were. And I'm just kind of a little different. I approach it a little differently because I really don't care about American Airlines. Mm -hmm. To be honest with you, I usually fly on United Airlines. And <laughs> United, so if you're listening to this, <laughs> if I can get a free ticket for the plug, I appreciate it. But, but I, you know... The thing is, we as actors, we don't usually care about the product. I don't yeah. care about these products, yeah. but I have to sound like I do. And if I use the product, if, if I say, well, I really like this Ford Mustang, well, you know, I've had bad experiences with those Mustangs. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go, you know, I really like my kids. <laughs> yes. Because mm -hmm. yes. right. occasionally I still like them. Yes. You Thank know? goodness. Yeah, Teenagers. exactly. So, so, Dr. Bill, I'm just trying to th I'm summing up here. Your technique really is about it not being about the words. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I mean, I really mean, to it, sum it up. That's a lot. Well, the words are very important when you're looking for the clues of how you want to approach a script. Okay. The words are very important. Okay. Because, you know, these are like little plays. You have a beginning, you have a middle, you have an end. And as an actor, if you were going to attack Shakespeare, you would you would ask yourself all these questions mm -hmm. that I'm telling people to ask themselves. Mm -hmm. When they get into advertising, though, they think, oh, it's an advertisement. I have to sell something, and I'm just going to sell these words. And and it's so it's just a quite just a, a slight uh, adjustment to the the way you approach it and the way you think about it. That's all. Well put, Doctor Bill. And we will be back with more of the Voiceover Doctor series. And Margaret, thank you very much oh, for thank coming you. in. I really enjoyed it. And uh, rent my film, Stump the Band, on Netflix. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. We'll I'm see. We'll see you next time. 
This voice registry podcast was brought to you by voicebank.net. Join us next time.